Hey guys, how's it going, Electron Man? Well, we got a little bit of a different one today. I'm actually not exactly sure where I picked this up at, but I picked this guy up here, and uh, I, it was either a garage sale or it might have been a ham fest. I can't remember, but when I picked it up, the guy didn't really even know what it was. I think I gave like a buck or two for it, and I looked at it and I thought, hmm, BNC input on the front screen. It's got to be a. My guess was a frequency counter. Which my guess was absolutely accurate. He said he didn't know if it worked or not. Well, it does work, guys. In fact, let me go ahead and uh, plug it up and show you. It runs off the of AC and voila. I love the uh, the old old school LED, but uh, it's got one problem. Um, I was tickled. I got it. I was like, man, it works great. And uh, then after about an hour, it quit working on me, and I picked it up, and it almost burnt my hands. Um, it's got an old school transformer in it that is uh, getting extremely hot after a period of time. In fact, it got so hot that it even messed up the, the chips in there. Fortunately, after it cooled down, it came back up to working. But uh, we're going to have to do something about that transformer in there. And I thought about a wall plug, and then I thought, you know what? I could use one of these little uh, voltage converters that I've got. Um, I pick them up of Amazon for like four or five bucks. And, then, you know, you can feed them like, uh, you know, you feed them 12 volts, and they'll do anywhere from like, four volts three volts to 30 volts and uh so anyway, we're going to do a little project on that and we're going to convert this over to 12 volts i mean everything on my bench runs all on this 12 volt bus bar anyway with my my 12 volt power supply so this makes more sense this is actually i'm going to use this as like a uh, just for a transmit you know i've got a fancy one for bench work but this is more for just uh just to verify the frequency i'm transmitting on on you know, some of my CBs don't have a frequency counter, so it verifies it there. And it just verifies your frequency. Kind of a little neat addition. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in there and get this apart, and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, here we go. Got a fly in here. Man, I keep staying flying. Well, the first thing we want to do is unplug it. But uh, I already took the screws out of it. Let me bring this camera just a little bit. I'm afraid it won't catch it all. And uh, it kind of comes apart. It's really cool. I mean, I don't know who did this. I don't know who it's made by. Looks like maybe some some guy had you know next to his amateur radio or something. But look at this look at this power supply brick it's got on it. The thing's massive. And uh, I already did a little research on it, and it it's putting out five volts. So it's a 110 volt to five volts. So we need to get a five to six volt feed in this. I don't know, you know, like I said, I have no idea on the brand on this, and uh, I'm not going to play with the uh, the voltage on it. So. You know, we'll just set it up. We'll just set up towards feeding at six volts. Six volts, it seems to be happy with, so we'll just uh, go that route. But um, anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is get this big thing out of here. And uh, I don't even, I've never seen one quite like that. I don't know. Let's see if I can figure out how to get that sucker out of there. I don't know if I can pry it up a screwdriver or what here. We'll try my little pointer to start with here and see. It's not screwed in, so it's obviously glued in or something. It's like maybe double-sided taped in. Wow. There we go. Oops, kind of bent the... Wow, oh, this is pretty... Uh, Thin sheet metal, but look at this thing. What is this? Analog devices 905, made in USA. Well, I know one thing. He sure is a heater. It didn't quit working, but it got so hot inside this cabinet that it caused the circuitry on the frequency counter to go hang punky. So we're gonna we're gonna retire it from that. Maybe save it for something else. I don't know. Kind of a Interesting setup here. Yeah, it'll leave me enough wires to work with both ends. Kind of about right here. Go ahead and pull this guy out of here. Looks like it's just a rubber garment, garment, which is cool because uh, that will be what I use for. Yeah, let me go ahead and get my soldering iron going here. This is definitely looks like some homeschool, home built thing. I just don't know. 
who built it or who uh, I don't know if it's a, this is a kit or what it's interesting you can see your input feed there which it goes through a diode which would make sense to uh, block any current going in looks like a shocky diode that out of the way we're gonna have to unsolder these tabs but man I'd like to take that that thing weighs like a ton I don't know what it is but some old school type of uh, power brick it's definitely a transformer I don't know any guys know anything about this. Let me know. I've never seen anything quite like this. Nine oh five made in USA analog devices. Interesting. It's got AC and then I guess five volts, six volts coming out of that side. I don't know. You tell me. And it weighs. I mean, a couple pounds. That's a interesting setup there anyway we're, we're we'll save that for something that doesn't go inside a little metal box that's sensitive to heat and let's see go ahead and untie this guy again I have no idea uh, the particulars on this guy things I'm talking about I buy here these little uh, step down butt converters they'll do uh, you can take 3.2 to 46 volts to 1.2 volt to 35 volts so yeah I mean you're pretty pretty uh, so I can put 12 volts in it and I can do anywhere from uh, 1.2 volts to 35 volts and like I said they're like three four bucks a piece little old guy I gotta make sure if you know of is is your inputs and outputs and uh Use your voltmeter. So, first thing we'll do here is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some standard, some of my standard bench wire that I use for hooking up DC. It's not gonna need a whole lot of current, so we'll use some. Uh, what is this like? 16 gauge, 18 gauge. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and uh, since it's already got a rubber garment here, that's cool. I don't even have to drill a hole. Then what we'll do is we'll do a little tie off here so it won't pull through. Give me enough room to. There we go, and that won't pull through. Looks like they used a little hot glue on there to. Then all I gotta do, as it shows here, you got in and out, so. So my DC in is going to go on this side, so I need to solder these two leads. And uh, the bottom one's negative, top one's positive, so let's see what's going to be the easiest way to do that. Probably something along the lines of... Ah. Right, it could be a little bit bigger for an old guy like me. But <laughs> you're just testing me, ain't you? You're just testing me. Well, we'll go ahead and let's tin these guys up real quick. doing more work I probably would and then we'll go ahead and tin these up too. I think I'll do it from the top because I'll probably use some double sided tape on the bottom so I just want to tin these pads up. Let's do the other side while we're at it since we're from here.
Okay. <clears throat> now then, back to, let's see here. N is on this side. Negative on the bottom. So, what? Just tack her up right here. Actually, I think I'm going to... Those are a little bit on the long side. Let me trim these off of this to tad it a bit. Don't need to be that long. Sometimes you gotta get a little creative here. That's getting hot in hand. Yep. Turn that up a little bit more. And then we'll just kind of get this in a good position where you guys can see it too. And Problem is, it gets a little hot on me. So now, as you see, I've got the input in. We'll always go back and double check. Yes, positive. Yes, negative. What I want to do is got my little 12 volts here. We'll just feed it. Peter 12 volts here. Now I need to do is get my voltmeter here. See what she's putting out currently and then we'll go from there. Turned down about no voltage. Oh, there it is. So I got 12 and 12, so we got to do a little turn in here. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, I stopped for a minute, went and got a got me my alligator clips. Remember that meter I bought? I showed you, I did a review on it a while back. That's the exact reason I bought it. was for this that was just getting to be too much uh too hard to hold and, and adjust voltage at the same time so anyway now we know we want to set it around five or six volts that transformer is putting out about five i'm going to set it at like six volts okay i bet you this guy will have one small enough that's so small i can, can't even tell it's got a tip on it so there we go. Okay, we're going to go down to 5 volts. And we'll go down to 6 volts. I think we're safe at 6. Right there. That easy. We just set her at six volts. So now we have a 12 volt to six volt converter. Now we got to do get my little handy dandy frequency counter I picked up. No name. Have no idea who made it. Don't know if it was a kit. It almost looks like it might have been like a heat kit or something. I have no idea. Tried to look on the other side there, and I don't really see any writing on it either. Very interesting. Who knows? 
got socketed ICs in it. I'm betting it's some type of kit. Just don't know. Definitely probably 60s, 70s. I don't know. When did they come out with those fluorescent LEDs? Anyway, let's go ahead and disconnect her here now that we're comfortable that we know what our voltage is. Negative, right? So, do a little tin up here. Negative one. Positive one. Really? That should do it. Double check, verify. Out positive, out negative. Or correct that way. Correct that way, get the solder iron. Put up, get the solder up. Close up a little bit here. If I did everything right, she should fire right up. Drum roll. There you go. Nice. And let's see here if we got if she be functioning correctly. One forty-eight eight zero zero. Hey, that little. Uh, I bet you more this top pads more off than that frequency counter is, but it's saying it's a. Uh, one. I got it set at one forty-eight zero zero zero, so it's two thousandths off. I think we can live at that though. But yeah, yeah, as you can tell, she's working like a charm. Awesome. I'm going to set it up here on the bench and fix me up some type of uh, choke to uh, sense what I'm transmitting on through my antennas and uh, we'll be done with this little project. Pretty cool. Cool little frequency counter. I'm really interested to know who made that. If anybody knows, let me know. i never seen anything like it. I'll come back here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and secure the little power supply down on the back of that so that it doesn't short out and we'll bundle it up and show you a finished product. Okay, looking at this, I'm just going to use these little, uh, I don't even know where I picked this stuff up, but maybe Harbor Freight, but I like these right here. They're, this stuff right here is like super sticky, so let's put some pads on here. So I maybe fit through these little pads on here. They just happen to be perfect size. Well, that's kind of protects the terminals. Pads. Then I'm just going to take it and put it on the side here. It looks like the side would be the best place to put it. So let's go ahead and 
mount her on the side like that. She ain't going nowhere now. And then we'll just neatly get my little screws back in there. There we go. One reassembled box. There you go, guys. With the 12 up conversion. Now, just get her mounted on the bench. Let's go ahead and hook her up one more time. And figure out how I'm going to hook it up to the bench and use it. Could have put a switch on it too, you know? Probably should have. Eh. It's close. 148000. According to this, it's 148000. This is 148. Give it a second to. 148001. It's pretty damn accurate. Not bad. For a couple bucks, I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm gonna have it up here on the bench and more for just because it's cool than anything. But anyway, guys, there you go. One uh, frequency converter uh, converter from AC to DC, basically. Hopefully, I get some more electronic projects going here, starting to cool down, get out on the bench a little bit more. Then got some work coming in. I've been so busy and just that and the weather and the whole tree damage and all that. I've been trying to get caught up on it. I just haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of uh, radio videos. That and I still, my antennas are still down, but I'm about ready. Actually, I've got everything together. It's just got to get a good, nice day out there to get my antennas mounted back up on the on the tires and get that back going. But yeah, it's just a lot going on, but we're going to get caught up. Anyway, guys, have a great day. This is Electron, man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.